All right, are we in? Okay, so we've got our pipettes, right? I need to pick, I think that they're actually maybe different sizes. So we're gonna just check them out. Fuck, I mean, shoot. All right, this one's got small, small tip. This one's got, okay. So these two are the same width, but this one will squirt this more one. water faster. So this is a no-go. We don't want that. We want the least amount of ant disturbance possible. Mm -hmm. And neither of these will be more disturbing than the other. And this one's going to be more aggressive for me to have to squirt it out because it's a smaller tip. So we're going to use this pipette. I already filled up a human cup of water to give to my ants because I actually am pretty fond of giving um, giving the, uh-oh, the the inanimate things around me, human things, right? Like I like giving my plants the water from my water bottle. I don't know if that's, oh, fuck you. We need, a... we need to get more water in here because I can only do one incision. So we have to get the whole pipette full, which means doing something a little bit along the lines of this. We have to clear the air, get it into the, the sphincter, you see that? We're filling this up slowly. Okay, and then now you see water here, water here, air bubble here. All the water that was in this part has to go. Now we've got more. There's probably a better way to do this, but I am only an amateur. MCAD doesn't have science classes except for that one. And that's barely a science class. Okay. I think you're doing great. Thank you. I am doing pretty good. Not great, but good. And that's all you can ask of yourself. Mm, just remember it's the bottom of the meniscus. <laughs> that doesn't matter because we're not measuring. <laughs> so who gives a fuck about the meniscus right now? <laughs> not me. I was just thinking about science. Oh wait, I just did a really good job called letting all of the air out. Okay, so pipette, totally full. Not even a single air bubble in here. And if we get a little bit too much water in there, it'll be okay. Oh, I'm nervous. No, don't be. Okay, let's go. Let's go. To the ant room. And we run because we're excited. We're trying to keep stable camera. Yeah, you don't get to run, but I do. Come see, Tony. My aunt is here, but you can't say anything crazy because it's on film. It's a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. You're seeing a water transfusion. Okay, so here's the ant cabinet. The other three will get checked on tomorrow, I think. Because right now, I think the only thing I am capable of doing is... Oh, she is doing so good. Oh my gosh. She's going to have workers. She's gonna have They're workers. Huge. They're fucking oh huge. My gosh. She's gonna have workers, and she already has another set her. of babies. Wow. Here, can we get a wait? Backdrop? Put it on the wood. The wood. I mean, the I backdrop. Guess that was actually the ant backdrop. Great, but I was preemptive. Yeah. Wow, she's doing so good. She's very thirsty. You see, no water. No water. But here's the water. Okay. And look and at don't... those babies! They're so big! They're fucking big. They're, they're literally so big, they're gonna be ants soon. Oh my goodness gracious! Okay. So I can't get too excited while I'm holding her. Okay. But transfusion time. We need to set it on a flat surface next to this monster. That's Tony's. Get it out of here. Okay, and I need to go. I've already planned this out in my head. We need to burst the cotton, but not so much that it pulls the cotton. Yes. Yes. Two hands is good. Don't eat your eggs, baby. Hold harder. Holding as oh. hard as I think is possible. Okay, I'll pull. Yeah, pull while I push. There we go. I've burst the chamber. She's a little bit frightened. I would so be am too. I. All of us are scared, okay? Look at her babies. Look how big they are. Oh my god. No, don't eat them, okay? She's getting freaked out. Look at her wing. She's really worried. Of course. But we just need to give you water, okay? 
Here. You need this. You do need this. And the cotton is soaking it up. Good. Okay. It actually might be good to angle it, even though I know you want to keep her flat. I can't angle it. I really can't. It's going to flood her. No, no, no. She knows how to deal with this. I did research earlier. Yep, move them. Good job. Good job. We're collabing right now. This is very stressful, Aunt viewers. I hope you know this. She's worried, and so am I. Are you sure it wouldn't be better? Like, just a slight tilt? Come on, move them away. Good job, D4C4. Like, right now, it's tilted this way. Good job, D4C4. That's it. I can't give her any more. She's going to be really anxious if I do. Hold. Can you hold the cotton? Yeah. Thank you. Like, I don't want to fuck this up. Okay, but she's thirsty. So I'm going to give her all the water. The cotton will soak it up and she will deal with the eggs. She can't, she can't eat them at this point. They're too big, okay? She's just moving them like she's supposed to. Ants, they're very used to having to move things around. This is true. A new queen, maybe not used to it, but she should know. And she's going to be happy about the water. She really is. I'm going to put the rest of it on this side. Yeah. Even though she's going to have some uneven humidity distribution, I just don't want her to be thirsty. Okay, baby girl? Don't eat your eggs. Oh, I'm really worried. Hold the cotton one more time. I want to I wanna unflood her. She's a little bit flooded right now. So we have to squeeze this out and then squeeze this in. There we go. And then we push this back. Fill it up. There we go. Good job, D4Z4. We are okay. We're okay. Huzzah! We are okay. Everybody's she's okay. She's happy about this. No, she's good. No, yeah. she's thirsty. Look yeah, at her. look at her. She's been thirsty. And that right. cotton's very wet. And her eggs mm -hmm. are okay. Yeah, so she's going to need a, probably another water transfusion soon. Oh, she's cleaning. She's like, I'm dirty. But, okay. I'm going to turn the cotton because it's like a little bit. There's a channel right now. And when, her, and when her babies hatch, we don't want them to get out of the channel. So you think for the other ones, you think I can just wet this cotton? Because well, if this one's dry... this cotton is the one that has to allow air to transfer through it for oh, them to breathe. You're so right. You're so right. All right, well, I feel good about this. Do you feel good about this, baby I, girl? Yes, and I think... I think she does. She's like, she's like air. worried, but she's, she's worried, but she's feeling good. Yes, drink up. Drink up. Good job. Let's go. And then she's going to reorganize her eggs because she had to do some frantic moving. Fuck, I love her. Fuck, I'm so are. in love with her. Fuck. Dude, D4C4, you're the best in the world. You, you and me, you and me, baby girl. All right, get a get a good shot of her wing because I'm making D four C four wings, but for me. Um, this isn't a great. Let's lift it up. She's moving it. Okay, yeah, this is a bad backdrop. So just for the dark wing. All right, we need to get ungeeked up because people are gonna see this. Is my hand an okay backdrop? Yeah, but hey, oh, wait, she is. no repercussions. That's what I've been investigating. And she's cleaning her antennae, which is one of my favorite things that the ants do because they're so cute when they do it. All right, baby girl, oh, look at her move them around. She's like, she's like, we gotta put them, we gotta put them somewhere dry. My my eggs they need to be dry, so she's moving them. She's sorting them by development or favoritism or favoritism, but most of the time it's by development because she's so pretty. 
I know. Baby girl's fantastic. All right, I changed my mind. I said we were only going to look at one ant, this one, but I want to look at one more. I want to look at 662. Okay. I know, I know I'm technically talking to myself, but. Do you want a second video for 662? No, keep it rolling. <laughs> we go straight through because no repercussions. No editing either. No editing because my computer's broken. All right, so, all right, C4, C4, baby girl. She got very, very carefully handled. Oh, she's going back into her darkness. All right, good job, baby girl. She's not gonna be thirsty anymore. 662 is all the way out of her darkness. So is D4, C4, too. Oh, no. What is this all about? Oh, she's asleep. All right. Still technically no development. Oh, she just woke up. Hi, sweetie. Mm -hmm. I'm really worried about the fertilization of these. Because... They should be bigger. She still has water. She's still wet. I'm worried about the size of these tubes, too. Because of, like, efficiency and such. Mm, I'm doing a bad job with the focus. I apologize, viewers. It's okay, viewers. She hasn't eaten them, but they're showing very little development. And D4C4 is an anomaly because she's in the bad tube. One, she's in the bad tube, which I thought was the bad tube. Oh, up here, yeah. What I thought was the bad tube, and so I got bigger ones. And now these ants are like, this is too much room. I don't know. She looks much smaller, but it's true. Her test tube is... Her test tube is bigger. Significantly. Like, twice the size significantly. These may not be fertilized. I agree with you. I see no little mini ants. There's, like, a couple that are bigger than normal pupae, which is good. Which means that technically they are fertilized. But why, I hope they can is, do there, it. why is there no movement? Are they different types of ant? Yes, well, then they are. Well, maybe this is just a more patient So, ant. yeah. 662 and uh, D4, D5 are different than D4C4 and D4C4 too. They're different, but I don't know. We caught them two days apart. D4C4, we saw the wing drop, which is a, a good sign. Are you nodding? <laughs> Absurd. 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 Anyways, we saw the movement of the wings and she has the wings. <sighs> I really don't know. Well, she has eggs. At least you don't have a super major stuck in there. But here's here's actually... Do you remember your theory about me putting the ants on a leash? Mm -hmm. And I getting them fertilized? Yeah. If these eggs don't hatch and they survive, I will be putting D4C4 and D4D5 on a leash, sending them out where I know the male ants are, getting them fertilized, and putting them back in their tubes. This sounds like a horrible plan. Look at this. This is a male ant. This is also a male ant. Oh, so we don't even need to go anywhere. Okay, See, look at they're the essentially here. on leashes right, right now. They're essentially on a leash. Yeah. Look at this. Look at this. Male ant. Male ant. You think that these male ants are attracted to the cabinets because of how many queens are in there? I don't know. Male ant... Um, sex well, drives okay. Okay. or they communicate. Pheromones. They communicate via pheromones. They do. Which we have no access to because it's ant smell based and we're humans. So we don't smell the ants. And have we don't understand tried? their... Yes, I have tried. Um, I have seasonal allergies, so I failed. Regardless. Even if I didn't, I feel like I would have failed because I'm not an ant, even though I want to pretend like I am. Um, but look at that. That's two... That's, you got that rid of them. one, two... Three, there four, was like 20 in your bathroom. Five, five, five webbed male ants onto the cabinet where my queens are sitting. Are they unfertilized? Couldn't be. Now I want to check on all of them, but I said I was going to wait till tomorrow. Yeah, save yourself a surprise. Okay. Good idea. Hmm. All right. Well, 
this has been a very dramatic episode of Antrobraic Notation. And I hope to return to you with a uh, success. We're going to close the ant cabinet so they're in darkness. And we are going to walk away with no absurd vibrations. And we're going to say, good night, ants. Good night, ants. No, 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 no. Good night, ants.